boy with access to personal computer in early 2000 is now working with Microsoft, one of the biggest tech firm in the world today. A vision that Bill Gates, Steve Jobs saw in early 1980s about personal computer in every home at every desk. That vision led me to this reality today where I'm building big data centers and working on big data technologies and cutting edge AI technology. This is my journey. I'm Pratik Singhal and I'm going to talk about how this boy came to this world of tech. With the access to personal computer at home, I was able to play games and then that playing games turned into playing with the hardware of the computer. I started installing softwares, games and everything. Over the time, it got more into what, you know, trying to tinker with the software or the hardware and then my friends used to ask me yaar mera computer mein kharab ho gaya please fix kar de so i used to go at their home and fix things up and that turned into a passion for technology a passion for computers and that was a turning point in my life where i decided ki yaar computer engineering hi karni hai so i joined one of the coaching institutes vmc for my coaching towards iit and i thought ki iit crack kar lunga and then i'll become the best software engineer in the world i started working really hard long night studies dedication everything i put in everything in those two years and i thought i'll crack iit but i was barely enough for it i could barely even crack or get into any iit rank list that was my status at that point of time and wo ek pehla chhatka tha meri zindagi ka where i realized I am not made for IIT and that doesn't have to mean that I still don't so I got into one of the colleges IP University College and it was a really good college at that point of time finally got into computer science and I thought yes I'll, I'll do it I'll become the software engineer that I always wanted to be and then the first semester started and that subject of computer programming came up and it I was like okay this is what software engineer do it was about writing syntax, code, and all of that. And that was the first time in my life when I saw that I code. I didn't have that programming uh, languages in my 10th or 11th or 12th, like all other friends in my batch had. And my first realization, what a software engineer do, what programming is, was then. But then also, I didn't take it much seriously. I was like, maybe this is one part of the job. I'll do something else. I may not be good at programming. But I still very softly learned it. But I didn't get much into, you know, solving DSA problems and all of that stuff which a lot of college folks are able to do today and I thought I'll figure it out on my way. Over the time three years passed and I thought uh, like every other software engineer I'll do CAT. So I started studying for CAT and my entire last third year and fourth year went into preparation for CAT where I could not crack again and that was another realization that I am not even made for CAT as and at that point of time I didn't have a job because I didn't study for interviews I couldn't crack a good job. I had a decent okay job and the placements were also not very good in my college. So it was okay, not a very bad, but I didn't have a very good job which I could say yes, I wanted to be here. And then I also didn't get joining letter from them. So my college ended in June until September I had no job when I joined Samsung. So through a circle of chances, I got a multiple uh, interview calls from Samsung and I went there and gave interviews. First time I could not crack, second time. My friend referred to me and then I went there and luckily I cracked and I was very happy. I was like, yes, this is where I wanted to be and I could land a job in Samsung. I was very happy to join. I joined Samsung in September of 2016 and uh, we started with the training and those stuff and we started working on Android training because I didn't have uh, much of Android experience, but I learned about it in my college days. So they uh, gave an early training for the Android. And I thought, yes, I'll make the Android applications. That at was that point of time was very important and was very advanced role. And I didn't land into development team. I landed into a project management team where my role was more about managing the project, talking to stakeholders, managing multiple items here and there. It was not much about development. And then I got a chance to visit Korea. We stayed there for a month. I got to experience a lot of new things in my life first time, but it was still not a very good coding job, but I got to learn a lot of soft skills. Those soft skills, everyone around me was saying they are useless. What, why are you doing this? You should get into a good team, which does a lot of development. But nay, I was like, yeah, soft skills will come later on very useful. And trust me, they have. So today I have, I I am in a position where I have good soft skills because of the early roles that I got and it was not a development role but still I stick there I did my best job that I could do and it landed me here today then uh, from there I worked in that team for about two two and a half years and I thought yes let's switch to something of a more development role and I switched to something where I was working in integrating app Android applications into the operating system and that at was that point of time was something that I was supposed to 
you know, assist one of the leads in the team. And the lead who was not very interested or he didn't get much time into it, by chance that job came to me and I was eventually leading that. I got to work with a lot of vendors. I got to lead a team of five to six vendors. And then over the time, full-time employees were hired and I was kind of leading a team of six to eight people working on that project. And it was very intensive project, trust me. I was working for one of the biggest carriers in the United States and one of the biggest customer for Samsung Verizon. And we were integrating software for them into the operating system of Samsung Mobile. And eventually got me a good visibility among my leaders uh, and uh, everyone. And I did my good job there. Uh, and eventually over the time it translated into a good uh, journey for me in that company and i got to work on flagship projects like at that point of time we had s20 s10 note 10 and all of that latest uh, phones at that point of time i used to work with and those were very pressure pressure intensive situations uh, because we were dealing with uh, the flagship projects there were like people from korea vps and everyone if there was we had to like stay all up night and uh, make the issue fix. I remember ek bari mein New York ki Eve pe bhi kaam kar tha because there was an issue in one of the flagship and I had to fix it up. So that was the hard work that we had to put then. But over the time, I thought this is fine. I'm working good. Uh, I, I have a good career here. But my domain knowledge was very limited to what will be applicable in only Samsung or a, something of a similar mobile industry. Yeah. But it is not something that is transferable to any other domain or I don't have much scope of learning. I might have been a manager or something right now if I, I stick there, but I didn't. I thought, let us make a leap of faith here. So I started preparing for a full development role, for a backend engineer role in a good company. And since I didn't have much experience with a backend role, I had to do some of my projects there in the company, which aligned with the backend development role. And over the time, I did some projects which helped me uh, finally uh, get the role. And uh, I was preparing, solving DSA questions and uh, everything, but I was not even getting an interview call from any of the companies. It was a long six, nine months of wait when I first started getting calls and they were not from the companies that I wanted to be in. But still, I started getting calls, I started preparing, I could not crack them. Again, third time, this is something that I was not able to crack. So, prepare bhi kiya, I started learning, but kabhi college mein dhang se DSA kiya nahi hai, aur uske baad bhi kabhi kiya nahi hai, to abhi kaise ho jayega, right? So, we need to go back to the fundamentals. That's what my realization at that point of time was, ki fundamentals pe chalte hai dubara. So, I picked up my book from colleges, college ke notes uthaye, dubara se DSA ke fundamentals pande shuru kare, books uthaye, jahaan pe un fundamentals ko detail mein discuss kiya gaya hai, phir uske baad I started solving. Then after that, I had a good, good start. Uske baad, jo DSA ke problems I started solving, they were more effective, they were more aligned with what is expected from an interview and I started solving more and more questions. After a period of three, four months, I got into a, a call from Microsoft and I was very nervous because I thought ye bhi crack nahi hoga like everything else. But my hard work over the period of time that I have done, the continuous learning jo kari hai, that paid off in that interview and I could crack it. In the April of 2021, that was the first time I got a call from Microsoft. Yes, I am selected and it was a good package. And I thought, yes, let's make that switch, but it was in Hyderabad. So, and I didn't want to leave my city and my parents, but thankfully at that time was COVID. So I joined and I thought maybe I'll decide later on. So thankfully to COVID, I was able to work from home. I joined Microsoft in a team that was based out of Hyderabad, which I didn't want to locate to. And that I thought I'll finally do software development, backend development. But in that team, no, we were doing data engineering and that too on a stack of Microsoft's own. And I thought, okay, let's do it. I was never a data engineer person. I didn't have much experience with big data, but within that team, I got a good exposure. And like myself, I started learning again. I started learning about data technologies. Uh, I started learning about Spark, what is Jupyter Notebook, basic stuff I didn't know. So I started learning there. I started applying that in the work and I started getting recognized for that application. And uh, within a year or so, I was really a good uh, team player there. But then again, I realized there were a couple of things at that point of time. The COVID ended and they were calling back. So I, I didn't want to go back to Hyderabad or didn't leave, didn't want to leave the city. So I thought maybe a chance and I find out 
कोई माइक्रोसॉफ्ट में टीम हो नोएडा में एंड आई गॉट इन टू वन ऑफ द टीम एंड इट वॉज विद इन टेन फिफ्टीन डेज आई रीच आउट टू द मैनेजर आई टॉक एंड आई गॉट इंटरव्यू विद दम एंड विद इन फिफ्टीन डेज आई वॉज इन दैट टीम एंड दैट वॉज काइंड ऑफ अ लीप ऑफ फेथ बिकॉज आई हैड इन्वेस्टेड वन ईयर इन अ टीम आई हैड माई प्रमोशन एंड एवरी थिंग लाइन अप एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम बट आई डिट वॉन्ट टू गो टू द नोएडा एंड आई डिट वॉन्ट टू वर्क on just the microsoft technology i wanted to work on something broader and i got into a team which was working on the perfect thing that i wanted it was working on latest big data technologies spark everything and i was really excited to join the team and by the way that is the team i'm working today as well it's been 3 years already and within there i learned again again i had to learn a lot of new things but finally i felt like i am home i'm i'm in a place where i wanted to work and today i am working on some of the latest big data technologies as well as now i'm diving into cutting edge ai technologies building generative ai applications and everything so a boy who just was playing games on computer is now here building data set